Hi, my name is John Abadi. I went to Wake Forest uh, from 2003 to 2006. I uh, played football and I was a linebacker on the football team. The movie The Fifth Quarter is about the 2006 season and um, the loss of my little brother. We were picked last place and ended up winning the ACC championship. Going into the season, uh, I was number 40 and I switched my number to number five for, for, in honor of my little brother for that season. And at the funeral, my pastor said, you know, at the start of the fourth quarter, let's hold up five fingers and make it the fifth quarter. Let's make it Luke's quarter. So the very first game of the season was just my family and I. And um, by the ACC championship, it was not only my family and I and the Wake Forest team and the fans, but also uh, Georgia Tech. You see what's going on? What? You see what's going on? What do you mean? Look around you. They're honoring John's brother, Luke, number five. Calling the fourth quarter the fifth quarter. Say it's gonna be our advantage. The movie kind of goes through the timeline of the entire season and how it, it picked up from just my family and I and all the way to the ACC championship where it was everybody in the stands. The movie is true, it's accurate. Um, it's, it's the things that we went through as a family and still are going through. So it's tough and it was one of those things where we really had to sit down as a family and we thought it was something that could help us heal and at the same time honor Luke. The message we wanted uh, the movie to, to, I guess, create was really uh, teenage driving and organ donation. Um, obviously from the teenage driving, I think on a daily basis, uh, we lose way too many young individuals due to reckless driving. And um, I think that's something that, it's a huge problem in our country and it's something that needs to be addressed. Um, and we thought that this could help that situation and could send a message to, to young kids across the country. Um, as well as we thought from an organ donation standpoint, we thought it would be good to educate people and to um, help them realize how much, you know, donating organs can affect and help other people um, throughout the world. You have cared for one another. You have been unselfish. And make no mistake, gentlemen, you have made all this happen. A team is um, basically it's your extended family, to be honest with you. Really, you, you see these guys more than your family because you're away from home. So you, you, you grow and you begin to, this relationship blossoms. And it's really hard to explain, but you, you become so close. And on Saturdays, we, as, as athletes or football players, we say we, we go to war together. I mean, we literally, you're out there pounding each other and it's blood, sweat, and tears. So that right there creates a incredible bond that lasts forever. My favorite memory about Wake Forest football or, or the team is just, just the fun times that we've had. Uh, um, the biggest thing is, is in the locker room. It's an environment you can't explain. It's, I mean, you're just cutting up. You're just having a good time. And it was the same way in the NFL, uh, to be honest with you. It's, you know, and it's funny because in the NFL, you're supposed to be grown men, but you, you still act like little kids in the locker room. So I think that's one thing that I'll always cherish and, and miss.